is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're talking about scream 6 in this video mostly here today so we're gonna be going over the demi lovato track because it has a release date and we got a snippet of it in a very cool way and we're gonna be talking about some other unfortunate things that have finally occurred after everything was sealed and locked away for the most part leaks have gotten out there so just to start off with Demi Lovato, Demi Lovato's single, Still Alive, which we know she has collaborated with uh, Mike Shinoda for this track as a co-writer. Demi Lovato also wrote it, but it seems like this will be a solo performance from her. Demi Lovato's single, Still Alive, for Scream 6, that will be officially uh, a part of the soundtrack, is going to be released on March 3rd. A snippet of the song can also be heard if you dial this unique number that she shared in a tweet earlier today. The number you can dial is 214 four four one six seven nine five when you do this ghostface should answer uh makes a small introduction to you talking about what's your favorite scary movie yada 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 before we finally get into the brief snippet of demi's vocals that kick in and it sounds amazing to me so far i've always been a fan of her voice since her disney days but i don't consume her music the way i used to however this will be getting replayed multiple times by me if it is a good addition to the soundtrack. Plus, I'm sure I'll hear it during the Scream 6 end credits when I see this movie in theaters not once but countless times, similar to how I did with Scream 5. Now, as far as the rest of the soundtrack, I don't know when the other tracks will come out. I know that Demi has put out that her track will be out on March 3rd. I am assuming that the Mike Shinoda track might come out let's say i wouldn't be shocked if we hear something announced from mike shinoda that hey what if what if the track comes out the day the film drops what if it comes out march 10th or what if it comes out this friday i mean there's always a chance that mike shinoda could announce that tomorrow in the tweet or later tonight and the rest of the soundtrack of course we can expect to hear that when the movie drops officially on march 10th but it's nice to know that Still Alive will be dropping on March 3rd. Everybody will get to hear it. I hope that the popularity of this song and Demi Lovato's fan base impacts the box office in a very positive way. But we need to talk about something else. Now, this message you see on your screen is from Matt Benelli Open because today was an unfortunate turn of events when we were less than a month away from the release. I had a conversation with not only him, I had a conversation with Tyler to discuss the matter and that's why those of you over on Reddit are noticing that now when you post, you have a pending post approval because my first concern was what can I do to slow this down and make it better? So what am I referring to? If you don't want any kind of spoilers, you can stop watching. And if you continue to watch, only to chime in down in the comment section about old oh, critical, how could you do this or that? Please just remove yourself. Take some accountability. Come back later when the movie drops because it's not my responsibility, nor is it anyone else on the Internet's responsibility to protect your viewing experience. Some people, as you would probably like to label it, since this is how we label things these days. Some people are more courteous than others. So if you don't want any spoilers, you can just click away. Or if you don't care, keep on watching. But again, if you chime in the comment section down below about any any uh, frustration about anything I talk about for the remainder of this video, I don't care. Now, I'm not going to remove any comments or replies on my tweets either. So navigate the internet with caution like you already should be doing. I'm sure most of you who watch me are very smart and capable people. So let's continue to act in such a fashion. <laughs> So the killers from Scream 6 unfortunately have been leaked and the reason we know it is legitimate is because posts are starting to be copyrighted when the footage is shared on certain platforms. Now the original source is being flagged so that's how you know it is legitimate. If you chime in down in the comments below saying who the killers are etc that's on you and everyone else if you just want to watch and still comment then I suggest ignoring the comments beyond that uh, and just type what you want to type and submit it and then dip because I'm sure they're going to be all in my comments. They're going to be all over any other Scream content creators comments. But just to reassure everyone, this leak, even though it did happen, there is missing context to this leak. There are several surprises still left regarding Scream 6, one of which still pertains to the identity of the killers. The cameo hasn't been leaked yet either. So please try to go into the movie with an open mind. I always say that my concern with every movie is how it is executed. I don't care if I know it front and back. That does not make a difference to me. But how you execute what I know is what determines if the film is good or bad. So due to the leak, those of you who like to go on Reddit, you cannot post without any approval. And seeking spoilers is just going to cause you to get banned. So don't bother doing that. Now, 
This was all brought on by the conversation I had with Matt and Tyler. Matt and Tyler were the first people I went to because I wanted to know what is it that I could do to prevent and keep a lid on the things that are slowly getting out there. I shared the evidence of who shared the shared the leak. We pinpointed who the individual could be, pinpointed the source of their uh, tweet, found their Twitter account, sent that all over to them. All the evidence was sent and then a recommendation or a question was given as to what can we do to make this situation better. The response that was given was related to why you're now seeing the pending activity post approvals over on Reddit. Uh, that's why you are not going to see that leak populate on Reddit once again, unless they're somehow making their way into the comment sections. But Reddit is being locked down because that is what Matt and Tyler suggested. That is what they wanted. And that is what we made sure happened. <laughs> now, I don't think these leaks are going to ruin the box office reception either. One important thing to remember is that Scream 6 leaks aren't going to become so widespread that every ticket holder knows what they will see upon entering the theater. Social media isn't a representation of everyday life for everyone, so keep that in mind. So when you go out of your way to kind of just imagine that because this little spectrum on the internet has been revealed and exposed to scream leaks you think that that means everybody in the world is now not going to go see the movie that's not how that works chances are 99 percent let's say 90 percent the 10 percent who have been exposed to the leaks the 10 percent of you you make up a very small amount of people who go out and see this movie I don't think that's going to really play a big deal. If anything, there might be some some aspects of this that excite people even more to go see the movie to get all the complete context. But I'm telling you, there's still some surprises left in store for Scream 6. And just because you think that one comment on my video was legitimate, I'm telling you that it is not. There is somebody out there named Jared who is sharing a sharing other spoilers, saying they saw a different version of the movie. While that may be true, I find that highly unlikely due to some other things that I know about this project. But you guys can let me know what you think about all this down in the comment section below. Again, I had a conversation with Matt and Tyler to address the matter. We made decisions that relate to how we can protect it and keep a lid on this. They were in agreement with it. So that's why you're seeing those struggle posts now happening over on Reddit. Let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, you can go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video